Hi, and welcome to the Understanding the Shift Trade Workflow tutorial. So this one's mainly going to be for employees, but it would help uh, managers to take a look through this as well. We're just logged in as John here, an employee user, and we're going to walk through the Shift Trade Workflow and kind of see how all of that works. So as you can see on the right side, we have our accepted shifts. And maybe we something's come up and we can no longer work one. So all we're going to do is click the trade shift button that's on the right side of any of these shifts that we want to get rid of. So March 9th, we'll hit the button. That just pulls up this window kind of confirming the details. And we'll hit trade shift. And now this takes us to another window that shows us who's actually available to work it. So we want to send this message to Dan, Jeff, and Gary. Um, it's best to kind of send it to all of them so that we have the best chance of getting rid of it. So we'll select all of them. We just hit control on our keyboard to select them all. Click on each of their names. And then we'll hit create shift trade. And so what that, what that does is then sends out an email to each of those employees, letting them know that there's a shift trade request out there, and that if they'd like to pick it up, they can just log into eSchedule. So right now, if we look at our shift board, that shift is still assigned to us. We're still committed to working it. Nothing's actually changed yet. Um, and so we need to be aware that as an employee, we're still committed to showing up for that shift if nothing, if no one ends up taking it. But we'll log in as Gary now, another employee, one of the ones that it was sent to. And we should now see under open shifts for the next 20 days, that's open shifts and shift trades. If we look down a little, we can see that shift trade has shown up here at the bottom for March 9th. And again, it kind of just gives us all the details. And we want to hit accept trade. And so it's that, that now says that Gary wants to work it. However, it is still John shift up until it's actually approved. So this sends an email now to a manager user, the manager of the store, and lets them know the shift trade um, is impending and to have it approved or declined. They'll have to log in and do that. And it's not until that step's actually taken that the shift will move into Gary's hands instead of John's. So we can now log in as our manager user. And we'll see right away here under approvals for the next 14 days that shift is first up here. Again, just gives us the details, and again, we just either confirm or deny it by clicking the check mark or the X. And so we want to approve this trade, so we'll hit approve. And now that we've taken that step, it's going to send out one last email to both uh, John and Gary, letting them know that the shift trade was approved and that the shift is now the responsibility of Gary. So he's the one who has to show up for it, and John has kind of officially gotten rid of it. So we'll, we'll log back in as Gary now. And we should be able to see under accepted that that shift right here, March 9th, is now his. So that is the shift trade workflow. Thanks for watching.